Hey guys, welcome. This is Fish Hook and I'm Charles. Today's video, we got a real tasty treat. I've been thinking about this for a while and I decided that we're gonna make fresh pompano baked in the oven and over cabbage steak. This is a, both of them are standalone great dishes, but I'm putting them together because Cabbage is a great vegetable, and cooked in this fashion, you can pair it up with so many different uh, meats, poultry, and fish. So I'm going to bring you in a little closer. I want to show you all the ingredients, and we're going to get started prepping. Well, guys, here's the ingredients. We are using for the cabbage steak, we've got two heads of organic cabbage. They're a little bit smaller than normal cabbage. They ran me a little bit over $3 a head. We're going to take off some of the outside layers and clean it up. We've got some fresh garlic, Kerrygold butter. We've got oil, olive oil rather, kosher salt, parsley flakes, some nice ground black pepper, granulated onion, and fresh Florida lemons. And we've got a little cup of white wine that we're going to drizzle over the pompano fillets and these are the pompano fillets beautiful firm white meat with the skin on we're going to cook them bake them skin down these will only take about 15 20 minutes to cook they're going to taste outrageous we're going to start peeling these and prepping the um, cabbage steak. So this is what we need to do. All right. Just gonna make sure that this is how they come right out of the cellophane wrapping. A little bit dirty, so we're gonna rinse them off right before we um, uh, use them. This is a very tasty dish. We've made cabbage steaks now for a while and experimented, and they are delicious. Absolutely delicious. Okie doke. We'll rinse this real quick. Now, the secret to this is to cut this in approximately one inch steaks. So this is what we're going to do. We've got the core cut out. In fact, we're going to cut a little bit more. And now we're going to cut this. All right. All right. Here we go. You won't get that many steaks. All right. And this one's going to go in the way it is. So we're going to put these on a pan. We're going to drizzle olive oil. We're going to mince a bunch of garlic over it, douse it. We're going to put um, black pepper and salt over it. And uh, we're going to bake it in the oven for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. And we're going to be checking it along the way. We're going to lay, put a little bit of olive oil in here. There we go. Let's see if we can get these in here. Oh, 
All right, we'll save that one for later, but we're going to liberally pour oil on this. Good Italian olive oil. We'll put some black pepper. your soul. Granulated onion. Everybody does these a little bit different. And now we will take our garlic and Put this here. And we should be ready. In fact, I'm going to give it a little bit more oil. It's going to soak it in really nice. Uh, we're going to start peeling these and prepping the um, cabbage steak. So this is what we need to do. Gonna make sure that this is how they come right out of the cellophane wrapping. A little bit dirty, so we're gonna rinse them off right before we um, uh, use them. And we will set the oven at. 400 degrees and we're going to put it in bake it for 45 minutes well we're ready to prep the uh, pompano fillets we've got our garlic chopped up got half a florida lemon these taste so good so we're going to put a little bit of oil in the pan we're going to lay our fillets down skin down Slide them over this to make sure they've got a good base thing of oil. going to do first we're going to put a little bit of salt 
just lightly with the kosher salt. It doesn't need a lot of, a lot of salt. We will put a little bit of parsley flakes. Okay. And next, I don't want to do a little granulated garlic. We put a little bit of all the seasonings on this just lightly. We don't want to overpower. I'm pretty liberal with the black pepper. Just gives a really good flavor. We're going to first put our uh, butter in. This is the good Irish cream butter. Now we've got our garlic. Now, we will put our lemon, get this guy in here, not even the whole lemon, just enough to coat it. A little bit of white wine, just a little bit, and there you go, just a little drizzle. We're going to put this in the oven at 350 for no more than about 15 to 20 minutes, and we're going to check it periodically to make sure. It does not that look delicious. Baked pompano over cabbage steaks. So stand by and we'll get the oven ready. Well guys, the moment of truth has come. All our fish is cooked, the cabbage is done, and Amy is here. We're gonna have dinner and we're gonna eat this. So honey, let's show them what you got. Okay. Look how beautiful this is. Is this not gorgeous? This is a dish, beautiful, Roasted, really baked cabbage in the oven, and this uh, pompano. I tasted a little bit; it really came out nice. Let's so I'm gonna let Amy. Excited. Yeah, I'm gonna let Amy try it first, and uh, we'll see how it comes out. Okay, awesome. Let's try this fish. Let everybody know honestly first if you like the pompano, and is it cooked well? I drizzled some white wine on there too, so uh, I like it. I love pompano. Very flaky, white, smooth meat. It's cooked extremely well. Excellent. And I love the flavor of that wine you put on there and the garlic. We'll see that how that turned out really well. I like this. Check it out with the cabbage. And you caught this today? Yes, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Nice. So we can just say this is fresh fish. Oh, it's 100% fresh from the Gulf. Yes. Mm. Pompano's Nothing like that. <laughs> Want to try the cabbage? We are supposed to have that with it. <laughs> I just like the fish so much. Oh, I know. This cabbage is excellent, guys. If you ever do this 45 minutes to an hour, depending on your oven. I've got, mine is a little tricky, so I've got to put an oven thermometer in there to verify. It's a brand new convection, but I don't trust it. And you'll know when it's four tender, the center, the heart of that, uh, uh, greens that cabbage is usually hard as anything that has to be fork tender when it's all fork tender you go in and out you got it it's done 
and I like I put it on uh, 450 for about a couple three minutes to get a nice brown I like it crusty on the top you guys don't have to do that but this is an awesome dish I was so excited about doing this I've been thinking about cabbage steaks for how long? Do you like the cabbage steaks? Is it good? Oh, those are so good. I can well, make a meal. Let me try this. it. Let me try it. Let me see how this is. You can't be the only one to have fun here. So. This is an excellent meal. Thank you. Yeah. To come home to. I didn't even have to cook. Another fabulous meal mm. put together by Charlie. Oh, man. This uh, pompano, first of all, it's an exquisite fish. You know, I think it'll make any vegetable taste good. I gotta tell you that. Let me see. And looks like you like it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Very good. Oh, I like this quite a bit. Very tasty. Well, guys, cat pompano baked with cabbage steak. You can't get better than that, and it's healthy for you. There's good fat in the pompano, and it's rich in protein. I uh, just did a whole uh, thing on pompano. I'm chatting with Charles, and well, I'll tell you, I learned a lot about the the facts about the pompano themselves. They're just one of the top shelf fishes that you can eat, and they're all the way from Massachusetts waters in the north all the way to Brazil and all across the Panhandle and throughout the Gulf of Mexico. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. We'd love to have you to be part of it. Videos like this are gonna be being posted now, probably now about twice a week. Now we're gonna be putting out cooking videos. I wanna keep you guys up to date on all the different recipes with seafood. It's such a big world. And such a delicious world of dishes. Don't you, don't you like them so far? I love them. I know. I Keep know. cooking. It was good. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for taking the time out of your busy day. We will see you on the next one.